Hey, first grade friends. It is the last day of school and you made it. I'm so proud of you for all of your hard work you have done not only during COVID and our time at work from working from home, but also all year long. I'm so proud of you for becoming readers this year, for becoming writers, and for becoming awesome mathematicians. You guys are ready for second grade, and I'm so excited for how hard you've worked and all that you've accomplished this year. I wanted to do one last video to say goodbye, see you later in the fall, and I wanted to recognize some of your accomplishments. An accomplishment is something that I've noticed that you have done really well in first grade. It's kind of like our compliment circle, and I've chosen something about each one of you that I think is very special. And so I wanted to create one last video, and we're going to do an awards um, ceremony today. Normally, at the end of every year, on the last day of school, I do an awards ceremony for just the kiddos in my class. Since we're not together today, I thought I would do that on video. I will be sending these in the mail today, and so you will be able to receive your reward, your award in the mail um, in a few days. So I'm hoping that it will get to you soon. As I announce each of our winners, I will show you the award and um, we'll do a big round of applause at the end for everyone. I'm so proud of each of you and I just wanna recognize each of your individual talents. All right, the first award that I am starting with goes to two of my friends who I have noticed um, have really awesome science skills. They have an interest in learning about animals and other science related things. They really enjoy reading about animals. They enjoy um, using their science skills all throughout the day. I've noticed that they've been using them at home as well. And I am so proud of these two friends. These are two boys, and this is the Super Scientist Award. The first one goes to Dean. Way to go, Super Scientist, for using your science skills. And the second one goes, to my friend Victor. Way to go, super scientist. The next award goes to two friends who are very supportive. That means they encourage each other, they encourage their friends to keep going and do their best. This is called the Super Fan Award. That means they are really cheer each other on and they're just a good friend to have around. So, these two awards goes to a girl and a boy. The first one, our super fan award is our friend, Samantha. Way to go, Samantha, for being supportive of your friends. And the next one goes to Michael. Both of these friends are very kind and supportive and encouraging of others. All right, the next award is called the Wonderful Worker Award. And these two friends are really hard workers. Now I have a lot of really hard workers in my class, but I've noticed these two boys and girls never give up and they always work hard even if the task is hard. And they've kept doing that during their time at home. So one of the Wonderful Worker Awards goes to my friend, Jayla. Way to go, you have excellent work habits. Way to go, Jayla. And my other friend, is Angel. Way to go. Wonderful workers for your excellent work habits. This next award goes to one friend who I have noticed is just a fabulous friend. The fabulous friend award is goes to someone that is just a wonderful friend to others. He is always kind. He always has a smile on his face. He's really good at sharing and playing with others at recess. This fabulous friend goes to Edgar. Way to go, Edgar, for being a fabulous friend. The next award goes to two of my friends that are perfectly positive. The perfectly positive award goes to two friends who always look on the bright side. They have smiles on their faces, they genuinely cheer us up each day, and they always keep working and keep doing their job no matter what. They always have positive attitudes. 
So the first one goes to my friend, Marcy. She always has a smile on her face and always looks on the bright side. And the next one goes to my friend, David. Way to go, David, for being perfectly positive. The next award um, goes to a boy and a girl. These two friends have really worked hard on learning their sight words this year. We know that sight words are words that we just have to know. And so I have two friends that have really worked hard with me in small group during reading at working on their sight words and learning those. So this is the Sight Word Superstar Award. And this one goes to my friend, Jose. Way to go, Jose, for learning your sight words. And also to my friend, Becca. Way to go, Becca, for learning your sight words. You are a superstar. The next one is called the Future Teacher Award. Now this goes to two friends who I have noticed are really great at teaching others how to do something and helping others learn. Maybe these friends uh, know how to do something and they're able to share it with a friend next to them. They're able to help explain to a friend. These two girls, this teachers. The first one goes to our friend Allison. Way to go, Allison. Thank you for helping others learn. And the next one goes to our friend Brimley. Great job, future teachers. The next one is called the Amazing Listener Award. The Amazing Listener Award goes to someone who is always being respectful to others and listening to what they have to say. That could mean me, but it could also mean their peers, some of you. So the Amazing Listening Award goes to our friend, Hank. Thank you for always listening to others. Great job, bud. All right, this next award is called the Rocking Reader Award. Now the Rocking Reader Award goes to two friends and both of these friends worked in Miss Elmore's group this year for reading. And Miss Elmore always told me about how hard they were working to do their job in her reading group and how much progress they had made, how they have become some rocking readers. And so the first one goes to our friend, Nicole. Way to go, rocking reader, for using your reading strategies. And the next one goes to our friend, Alex. Way to go, my rocking readers, I'm proud of you. The next award is called the Law Abiding Citizen. Now, this means that these are friends that I can count on to always follow the rules and set a good example for others. So the law abiding citizen goes to a boy and a girl. The girl is our friend, Devony. Thank you, Devony, for always following the rules and being a great leader. And the next one goes to our friend, Adrian. Way to go, bud. Thank you for always setting, a, setting an example for others and following the rules. The next award goes to someone who always has really great questions. This is called the Queen of Questions Award. So this goes to a girl who always has lots of things to say and lots of questions and things to share with others. So thank you for always helping us with discussion. This friend is our friend, Jackie. Way to go, Jackie, for asking great questions and always having something great to share. And the next award, I have two more awards going to four more friends. The next award is our Wonderful Writer Award. Now, all of you are writers, but these two friends I've noticed really enjoy telling a good story or taking time to write um, during the day, they are both authors and they are really great at telling their thoughts on paper. So I noticed that my wonderful writers I want to recognize are Aaron, way to go. Thank you for always working hard on your writing. And Meadow, way to go Meadow. Thank you for always doing your job and working on your writing. 
The last award goes to two friends who I've noticed are always using their math skills. And they're using their math skills to solve problems, to um, help with number talk, to participate in discussion, and they always have really great ideas to share. Our Math Master Awards goes to Jennifer and our friend Omar. Way to go, guys, for always using your math skills. Well, friends, it's time for me to say goodbye. Everyone has been given their award, and I'll be sending those in the mail to you very soon. Please contact me if you have any questions over the summer or if you just want to say hello. You could always email me or your parents could message me. I would love to say hello. I cannot believe that you all are now second graders and summer has begun. I want you to know that I'm proud of you, that I miss you, that I love you, and I can't wait to give you the biggest hug ever or a handshake or a high five when we return to school, hopefully in August. I hope you guys have a really great summer. A few things to remember. Don't stop reading. Hope you find some really great books to read over the summer. I hope that you'll take some time to do some math over the summer for fun and keep your brain sharp. I hope that you will enjoy time with your family and your friends, and I hope that you will stay safe. I love you all. See ya, second graders. Bye.